I love frogs. Sorry, I just thought I should get that out of the way. So, anyway, because of that, I thought I should show you how to make a frog bread today, but one that is completely devoid of frogs or any other type of animal product. Instead, all you'll be needing for this is 375 grams of flour, 1 teaspoon of salt, a packet of yeast, 25 grams of sugar, 315 milliliters of a plant-based milk, a tablespoon of maple syrup, and 2 to 14 raisins. This recipe was inspired by a recipe I found on the fresh loaf. But anyway, let's begin. Stir together your flour, salt, sugar and yeast. Warm up the plant-based milk to a lukewarm temperature. Then slowly add in the milk until you've added in 290 milliliters. Continue stirring the dough until it begins to become too thick, in which case there is a need to knead. Do that on a floured surface for around 10 minutes. If the dough begins to stick to the surface, don't be afraid to add some more flour. Then put the dough into a bowl, coat it in a neutral oil and let it rise for 19 minutes. Once the dough has risen, approximately doubling in size, take the dough out and prepare a tray with some baking paper. Take around two-thirds of the dough and form it into an oval ball, the top thicker than the bottom. Then divide the remaining dough into three parts. Take one-third, roll it into a ball, cut it in half and put the halves on the back side of the larger piece of dough. Take another piece, divide it into two pieces with an approximate ratio of two to one. Take both of those pieces and halve them forming them into flattened tubes, attaching the larger ones to the semispheres at the back and the two smaller ones at the front. Cut the ends of the flattened tubes into three to form the toes of the frog. If you want to, you can smooth them out and press the end down a bit to form the characteristic round tips. Now, take the remaining dough, divide it into two and form balls to put on top of the main body. I'd recommend to wetten the dough a bit to get them to stick to the body more. Add two raisins to the pupils of the eyes. If you want to, you can also put raisins on the bottom of each of the toes. Cover your frog and let it rise for 30 minutes again. After around 15 minutes, you can preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. During this time, mix together your remaining plant-based milk, so 25 milliliters, and maple syrup. Right before you put your bread in the oven, brush the mixture onto your frog, which should help give it a more brown look. Then let it bake in the oven for around 30 minutes. And now, before I end, I just want to say I'll be donating a number of euros equal to twice the likes this video gets within a month to the charity Save the Frogs. Over 200 species of amphibians have gone extinct since 1980, and this non-profit helps to educate, push forward legislations preventing the further endangerment of amphibians and their habitats, and directly funds reforestation efforts and conservationist funds. If you have some money to spare and also love frogs, maybe consider donating while having a bite of your animal-free frog bread. Enjoy!